Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you a completely ridiculous class build. I call it the Thunder Mario. Why? Because this build is all about jumping and pumping. Because we basically will just jump around on impact, we deal thunder damage, hit enemies and jump away to a high ground or wherever we want. So, first I'm gonna show you what the idea is what we need and what items we are gonna use. Then we go through one or two examples and then we build this thing. So basically the whole idea is like building a multi-class to get as much strength and jumps as possible. So for this we need a wild heart barbarian and a thief rogue. Because we want a poor strength class for our jump distance and attack power. And with the wild heart barbarian this is perfect because the subclass has tiger heart rage which increases our jump distance when we rage and the thief rogue gives us an additional bonus attack which we can use for a second jump each turn. So that's like the basic concept but we need to pump this up that it is also just fun to play. And for this we need a few items and the first one would be the hammer half if I spell this correct I don't know which is one function we absolutely need the shockwave because when the wearer jumps they deal 1d4 thunder damage in a 3 meter radius upon landing which is amazing because that's our whole plan. Then the second are the bone spike boots which have two things. The first one is they give you a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield but the second one one which is a little bit more important for this build is the brutal leap because if you leap at the target you can possibly knock it prone so so then you can imagine if we jump on a target first we deal thunder damage seconds they are maybe fall prone and then we have advantage on our attack and then success so the last item which is basically free of choice are the fleet links which has the ability of running jump which means that once per turn, after you dash or take a similar action, you can jump without using a bonus action. So basically, if we are doing this, we would have three jumps per turn if we would like to use it. So it's just situational because that's not every turn we want to do this. So let's just go over quick two examples. The first one just would be to show you how far you can go in a single turn if you use everything, which is absolutely ridiculous. So if we just want to move as far as we can, we would like to activate our main action at the dash. And then after the dash, we get this bonus action through the fleet links. And then we just jump away. Then we run a little bit, we use our second jump, then we run a little bit, and then we use our third jump. And as you can see here, we are basically out of combat in one single turn, which is absolutely insane. So the second example would be just a show off of how you can enter the battle, deal the thunder damage, destroy an enemy, and then flee to the high ground and then just throw stuff at them, which is, in my opinion, just absolutely hilarious. And then in the next turn you can of course just jump again down, hit one and then jump up again and if they are not ranged enemies, they are just completely useless. So let's start to create our perfect Thunder Mario. We of course need a shorter race because for the role playing aspect and for the fun factor it is a must to have a little jumping character. And the only one here for us or at least for me which makes sense is the dwarf because I like to take him and the subclass gold dwarf because we get there a little bit of extra HP which will be probably sometimes important because we will jump from high up down and so on and we will also lose health on impact. So just just take those extra HP. I think it's nice. And for the class, we take the Barbarian, as I already mentioned in the video. Then next of the background, we take the Soldier, because there we get the Athletics bonus, which is important for our dear strength and physical stunts. So that is the main reason we take this background. So for the abilities, I like to just increase our strength to 17, then for the Dexterity and for the Constitution, all the way up to 14, and for the rest, you can just use it as you like because of course in this build you can just take additional things and maybe you need one thing more than the other and so on. So just just make sure that the main stats are the ones I took there. And that's basically it for the start. Then of course we have to design our character to look some kind of a little bit like Mario. So what I did was just to give him a little bit of a mustache and hairs which maybe look like under his head he normally has on. So I don't know, create it like you want. Yeah.
So when we level up, at level 2 we don't have to look at anything. At level 3 is our first choice, which is our subclass, and we will take Wild Heart. Because if we go at Wild Heart and take the Tiger Heart, we can see that we get Tiger Heart Rage, where we can jump an additional 4.5 meters, which is exactly what we want. But we don't want any piercings. I don't want any. At level 4, we are choosing our first feat. And this, and in this case, we will take a fleet because what we can do here is we can increase our strength by one. And the most important part here, we can increase our jump distance by another 50%. Amazing. So at level 5 we will go into the multi-classing area and we choose the rogue because we just want to get at level 3 with the rogue. So at level 3 we can choose our subclass and this will be relevant because we will choose the thief and there we get another bonus action which will be relevant because we can jump an additional time which is exactly what we need. Then if we go further and at level 4 we take our feet. There you can, in my opinion, there are two things to choose from. Either the first one is, of course, the ability improvement, which is never bad. But what's also nice is mobile. Because if you take mobile, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from your target, which can be really cool because we are a jumping and hitting class. So if we jump in, we hit the target and we want to jump away, we won't be opportunity attacked. So after this, the next point is, for the last 4 levels, I will just pump everything into Barbarian. Because first off, we get an extra attack, which is amazing. And at level 6 from the Barbarian, we can just choose, or what I like to choose is, is this aspect of the beast. Because here, we get resistance to falling damage. What, which is nice because we will jump quite a lot from high grounds down and so on. So maybe we will get a little bit less damage, which would be nice. So yeah, that is my choice from this one. And then for the last levels, you can just decide if you want to pump the barrier all the way up to the rest and get that last feed or just multi class into another thing. It just depends. It, uh, those are the last two levels and the main build is already done beforehand. So don't worry that much. So that's basically it. This is our dear Thunder Mario. So do whatever you want. Play him. Playing like I explained or play him a little bit different and most important if you have any improvements for this build or anything which could be better or more fun or I don't know just let me know because I just want to play the most fun builds ever and if you have any I don't know maybe other items maybe another peek into another multi-class or whatever just let me know. But otherwise, have fun with our dear Thunder Mario. And thank you for watching. Bye. Have a nice day. Not like him. Ciao.